The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org action. The possibility of this year's water carnival being canceled has almost become a reality. Our reporter Haiti Clotter explains why the Bemidji JCs are making a change in this year's water carnival location. The rides, the music, and the fun are some of the things that keep people coming back year after year to the water carnival. After weeks of the unknown, the 73rd annual water carnival has a new home. We're going to split the location into two sections. The Bemidji JCs are doing something that's never been done before by having two locations for the water carnival. The entertainment tent down by the lake front by Paul and Babe and the rides and some food vendors will be over in the Sanford Center lot. The JCs announced a new solution where the Bemidji City Council voted unanimously 6-0 to approve the new location. Both the JCs and downtown businesses were affected by the previous downtown location of the carnival. Having something done on the lakefront, having a presence near the downtown is also going to be uh, pretty good too. So I think it's a, it's a good compromise. It's going to going to help both the downtown and, uh, and serve for a better carnival, keeping it here at the Sanford parking lot. Community members won't have to go very far to enjoy the carnival. It'll only be a short distance to get from one location to the other. The JCs hope the community will embrace a new plan. Well, we're hoping that people will spend time down at the rides and then come down to the entertainment tent in the evenings and see the bands. We're hoping that they're okay with going back and forth a little bit. If they don't like having it all or split up. I imagine it's either going to have to all go one way or the other, but I'm not so sure this isn't such a bad idea. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. The JCs will be making an announcement in the near future regarding the Water Carnival schedule of events. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.